In this video, we will go over the data cubes. In order to build a data cube, you must first have a data set, which means you must first have a data source. And to create a new data cube, you right click new data cube and you choose your data set. And next you will choose your groups or dimensions and then your summary fields. So this particular query, I have some fields that roll up together that would simulate a cube. I have fiscal year, fiscal quarter. So fiscal quarter would roll up into fiscal year. And then I have product category name which would roll up into product subcategory or product subcategory name would roll up into product category name. And then for a measure, I have line total, which is a sum for that product. So how will we start? We will first drag over Our dimension and we're going to name this one year we'll say year quarter okay doesn't like that year and then in order to add Order underneath as a cube, drop it right underneath fiscal year. So next we will add in product category name. And we'll just drop it in over here and product cat and so now we have a separate dimension year and product category and then we're going to add product subcategory name underneath and then for measures we will have line total so that will simulate a cross tab report, which is what we use cubes for cross tabular reports. And you click OK, and you will see over here you have your groups or dimensions, and then your measures, the line total. And for the cube, you can just drag and drop over here and you automatically have the cross tab report laid out for you. And let's run that. So you have fiscal year. It's a little bit hard to see because we haven't formatted this report, but fiscal year is rolling up into quarter. And then you have your product category name and then your subcategories rolling up underneath each. So after some time formatting, you get your report to look. And I switched the dimensions so you can format your report to look something similar to this. I have the year, quarter, and then product 
category and subcategory. So going back to your report, you would just have to change your cross tabular report to reflect that. But the main focus of this video is for your cube. When you build your cube, you're going to have your dimensions and your measures, and you need to figure that out according to your query, what you're going to be reporting on as far as dimensions and measures. And that is it for your data cube.